Cock Jae Chun from DKZ proves that you can make something out of nothing. What once looked like the end of his career turned into a new beginning for him. Although Jae Chun seems to be thriving and living his best life right now, at one point his life was much different. Jae Chun officially debuted as a member of the group Donkeys, now known as DKZ, in April of 2019. From the start, Jae Chun has been very active in writing and producing several songs for the group. In the same year as he debuted, Jae Chun also decided to branch out and landed himself his first main role in the Tooniverse web drama My YouTube Diary, where he also starred with another member of his group, Munich. He had a minor cameo appearance in the second season of My YouTube Diary, as he had a leading role in the YouTube show Can You Deliver Time? Despite the COVID pandemic hitting in 2020, Jae Chun appeared in two other shows, one called I Love DM and YouTuber Class Season 2. Despite Jae Chun doing his best to put himself out there, it seemed like all of his efforts were failing, which led him to seriously consider leaving the entertainment industry completely. During an interview with JTBC, Jae Chun opened up saying, For nearly three years after debut, I wasn't making any progress here. Our group wasn't really going anywhere either. Jae Chun added that even though he wanted to keep trying, the long days made him feel too exhausted. The group's songs weren't doing very well on the music charts, and no matter how hard the boys worked, they just couldn't get popular. The hard truth is that only a handful of groups and soloists will become million sellers, A-listers, and the definition of what it means to be successful. Many of them are unknown, and a seemingly common thing like performing on a music show is considered a dream come true for them. In an interview, Jae Chan shared that they used to belong to the lower category. Jae Chan said, I thought that once I debuted, people would recognize me and I would go up on stage all the time, but not everyone listened to our album or even knew about it. Despite DKZ actively promoting after their debut, they had a hard time selling even 5,000 albums and their music videos used to have around 200,000 views on average. For Jae Chan, it was a hard pill to swallow because it felt like all of their hard work and effort was for nothing. Learning what it truly means to be an idol was the hardest part. That was until Jae Chan said yes to star in a drama without knowing that it would change his life completely. A lot of people might not know Jae Chan as a member of DKZ, but they might know him as one of the main actors of the BL drama Semantic Error that aired at the beginning of 2022. Jae Chan wasn't the only idol to star in Semantic Error, as his acting partner Park So Ham is a former idol who left his group K&K &K in 2021. Based on a webtoon of the same name, Jae Chan was given the role of Sang Woo, a computer science major who is rigid and never breaks the rules. Jae Chan saying yes to his role in Semantic Error was met with a lot of doubts from his company. Jae Chan revealed that when he landed the role in Semantic Error, his agency asked him to think about it again because it's a story about two guys falling in love with each other. Because Jae Chan is a K pop idol, his agency told him to be a little cautious. Jae Chan shared, I think my agency was a bit careful about me participating in a BL drama, especially because there are people who strongly dislike it for religious reasons. But Jae Chan wasn't bothered by the genre of the show or what it's about, and he wasn't afraid to take up the role. The more his agency told him to be careful, the more Jae Chan wanted to take up the role. Eventually, he managed to persuade his company. Understandably, a K-pop idol starring in a BL drama is a shock. While K-pop is known for breaking down gender norms, sexuality is still a sensitive and taboo topic for many idols. When Jae Chan appeared in the program Urban Fisherman, he talked about starring in a BL drama and his experience with semantic error. Unfortunately, Jae Chan became the target of some horrible jokes coming from the show's hosts. The host pretended to be gay as a joke, and Jae Chun was even asked which of the hosts was his type. Since Jae Chun never publicly announced his sexuality, these jokes were completely out of place, and a lot of fans were angered by them. As sad as it is, this show is kind of known for the host making arrogant jokes and generally being rude and disrespectful to their guests. In another interview Jae Chun did, he was given a question about the ignorant assumptions people have about BL and how BLs can actually help with the toxic masculinity in South Korea. Jae Chun was asked about how he feels about smaller men who are often described as more vulnerable compared to men who are taller. Part of the question said, You might think that you're not small, but you might feel unfair that you look small because your co-star is tall. Jae Chun is around 177 centimeters tall, while Sol Han is around 193 centimeters. The answer Jae Chun gave pleasantly surprised and comforted many people. Jae Chun said, I don't think I have much desire in any group to look strong and well off. Does a man have to look strong? I don't think so. I'm just being myself. I'll live my own way and people can live their own way. Both of the actors did incredibly well in the drama, and fans had a lot of compliments to give to the actors. One of the many things people like about the drama so much is how it displayed each other's emotions naturally, and how easy it was for the viewers to empathize with the characters by making it a high teen drama. Jae Chun explained this a little more and said, I think the secret is reducing the level of sensuality seen in the original webtoon and depicting the story as more of a teen campus love story, so a lot more people were able to watch it comfortably. Jae Chun added that he hopes the drama would serve
serve as a way to stop the prejudice against same-sex relationships. Another thing that drew the viewers in was the chemistry between Jae Tun and Soham. As Jae Tun retold, Soham used to take care of DKZ when they saw each other during music broadcasts. So naturally, the two actors had good chemistry with each other, which seeped into the drama as well. Jae Tun also added that he was scared of disappointing the fans of the original webtoon. He continued, I respect everyone's opinion, but I had no objection to BL content from the beginning, so that helped me try my best in my acting. The reason why Jae Tun was so persistent in taking his role for semantic error might be surprising to some. Jae Tun shared that he wanted to take his role because he wanted to do something to revive the team. He explained, When I was convincing my agency about semantic error, my team was not in a good place. We didn't know what to do. Everything seemed dark in front of us. I thought of jumping in to do anything with the hopes to revive my team. And oh, did that work out. Semantic Error did incredibly well commercially, and it was nominated for a lot of awards, winning a good chunk of them as well. Dayton also received some trophies for his acting as well, such as the Acting Idol of the Year at the Brand of the Year Awards or the New Wave Award at the Grand Bell Awards in 2022. This TV series didn't bring success just to Dayton, but to the whole group as well. Seemingly overnight, their popularity almost doubled because of Semantic Error. In March of 2022, just a few days after the last episode of Semantic Error aired, DKZ song slowly crept back into the charts of numerous Korean music streaming sites. In particular, it was the song Lupin which was released in March of 2020 and Crazy Night which was released in July of 2021. Crazy Night ranked 21st on the Bugs real-time chart and Lupin ranked 98th. Their album Chase Episode 1 Goom ended up in 5th place on Beat Road which is a music sales company and they ended up among celebrities like Seventeen, Monsta X, or Tomorrow by Together. Their fame has only grown from there. In April of 2022, it was reported that the album Chase Episode 2 Mom sold almost 108,000 copies within its first week after its release. To show just how much more successful the group has gotten within just a year, their first album sold only 1,244 copies in its first week when it was released in 2021. The title track Cupid for this album was also incredibly successful. It entered as number 13 on Melon's latest chart and ended up number 10 on Bug's real-time chart immediately after its release. Before the Chase Episode 2 Mom was released, the most copies that they sold was 1,482 for their 2021 single album Universe. The incredible growth that happened within just 12 months is something that we don't see very often in K-pop, but it's rightfully deserved. In an interview Jade Tan did earlier this year for The Big Issue magazine, he shared how he felt about the sudden rise in their popularity. Jade Tan said, While promoting as an idol, my goal was to make it onto the music charts. I was extremely moved that so many people listened and gave love to DKZ songs now before our comeback when we aren't even promoting. Jade Tan also shared that he hopes that he will get to pursue both acting and music at the same time. When he talked about his goals for the future, Jae Tun expressed his hopes in the mainstream public to come across and discover their songs. Jae Tun and DKZ's story is truly one of a kind, and the future surely has some great things waiting for them. That's it for today. Are you a fan of DKZ, and what are your thoughts on Semantic Error? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!